the call to wake up is not just a mere suggestion because it sounds like a good phrase in time it is necessary it is a necessity it is a call to action a demand for awareness empowerment unity we can reclaim our narrative so it is time for black people to rise to embrace the power and to forge the future that reflects our potential because we have a lot of potential that is what's happening so welcome to this podcast it's called black people wake up it's about time that we wake up from our slumber and sleep we're going to be doing it every two days to awaken the consciousness of black people but you must share like and subscribe that's the only how we can grow this consciousness and how youtube can recommend it to others outside of the community all right so let's get into this so in the landscape of history um the narrative of black people has often been marred by oppression we had marginalization we had systematic injustice yet within the narrative lies an undeniable strength now that is the resilience that has withstood the test of time today I see us as a community. We are standing at a crossroads. Uh, I call it a pivotal moment. It calls for the awakening, not just from slumber of complacency, but from the depths of uh, historical amnesia. It's time for black people to wake up and to recognize the power that resides within them, to harness it for a collective upliftment. All right. Now, first of all, we must confront the historical context. Now, for centuries, black people have been subjugated to harsh realities of slavery. We have segregation and we have discrimination. Now, these experiences have shaped what I call the collective psyche, one that internalizes and foster doubt. Now, this mindset passed down through generations have created what I would say a barrier of self-empowerment. So to wake up means to share this inherited weight and to understand that the past does not dictate the future. I'm sure that you've heard that in many circumstances before. So it is essential for us as a people to recognize our history, to honor it and to honor those who fought for freedom but also to liberate ourselves from the shackles of a narrative that seeks to define us solely by our struggles. And that's what people always talk about when it comes to black people. They define us by our struggles alone. That's all they do. And we've been asked to remove ourselves from the mental slavery. Bob Marley have often spoke about it, sung about it all the time, right? Now, waking up, I would say, involves awakening to the present and this is where things get really sticky because you would hear people say black people need to wake up wake up to what wake up to what wake up to the present wake up to the present which is the today's i would say systematic racism which persists in various forms so we came out of slavery they said but now we've gone into the economic disparity which is a form of slavery then there's the educational inequalities, which we are seeing some strides being made, but not enough. And then there's the health crises where black people are disproportionately affected, especially black communities in larger nations as well. Even the small islands, you can see it, where a black man doesn't have the money, so he'll have to stay in a hospital bed and pine away. And those 1% European that live in these countries, they can fly out because they have the money. So disparities still exist. These three spare. Now, I think this reality now requires us to have what we call a critical examination of the systems at play. Now, it's not enough to be aware. We have to, what I would say, what actively engage with these systems, understand their mechanics, and challenge them. Now, Education is a powerful tool to deal with that. We must put ourselves in any manner to get that education because knowledge equips us to what I would say, dismantle the barriers erected against us. And a lot has been erected against us so that we could empower ourselves and advocate 
in that regard for policy changes to demand justice and to go further to build alliances that amplify our voices because sometimes we just have one person doing all the talking we're not cohesive we're not a community and that's something that's destroying us but waking up is not solely about the external challenges that are affecting us as a community it also requires the internal reckoning what do i mean well many black individuals grapple with self-doubt and imposter syndrome this is feelings that stem from centuries of what i would say devaluation so it is crucial now to cultivate a sense of self-worth that is independent of the society norm that we have today or the society validation now this journey begins with self affirmations and recognition of our intrinsic value we must celebrate our achievements no matter how small they are and we have to understand that our existence is a testament to our resilience remember now, of all the struggles we spoke about that we and that we're still facing today we're still here it is a testament to our resilience it means that we can do it but too many of our people just you know they just lie like i said with the self-doubt and the imposter syndrome so additionally i think we have to embrace the power of community that is the strength of black communities the strength of black culture and its interconnectedness our shared experiences our stories our struggles i believe when you look at it you can see that it creates what i would call a tapestry of resilience and that can actually inspire and uplift an entire community so by fostering solidarity we can create spaces for dialogue and healing and empowerment and stuff like that but community engagement is not just about support it's about collective action we have to come together and we have a serious problem when coming together because if we come together we can challenge what i call the status quo we can advocate for change and we can create opportunities for future generations but we have a serious problem of coming together about the collective action because of what we have gone through they have pitted us against each other and that is the problem that we're facing till today now waking up on another level also means recognizing the importance of our mental health they've done a lot to us in terms of mental health because of what they've done to the psyche those chains were not easy for our four parents and that kind of slavery has passed down through generations and caused a serious mental health issue so we have to address that mental health problem we must address it if we are to push forward i would say in conclusion hosting this first podcast that the call to wake up is not just a mere suggestion because it sounds like a good phrase in time it is necessary it is a necessity it is a call to action a demand for awareness empowerment unity we can reclaim our narrative so it is time for black people to rise to embrace the power and to forge the future that reflects our potential because we have a lot of potential the world is watching and it is time to show up not just for ourselves but for generations to come let us wake up stand tall create a legacy of strength resilience and unwavering hope for future generations the reason why they are against us and the reason why we, they keep oppressing us is because they know our true potential and we have to get out of this mindset so i want you guys to share this podcast continue to get this message out if you don't share it if you don't subscribe to the channel and you don't comment youtube is not gonna feature us in the algorithms commenting is very important and liking is very important so that we can get out so that we can share it in other communities and we can get the message out okay